What is going on guys and welcome back for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, place reference images into Cinema 4D in our various different views to use as reference pictures for modeling stuff. <clears throat> so for the tutorial today I'll be showing you with a car but essentially um, just follow the steps for any pictures that you're using and it will make things a lot easier. There's a few little things that you have to make sure are perfect before you start or else your modeling is going to get all out of whack and it's just going to be crazy. So the first step that you got to do is um, find an image of what you want to do on different um, angles. So what I did was I found this picture of a Ferrari and the reason that this one is so nice is because they're all from the same picture so I know they're all proportionately correct so these two are just as long as each other these ones are just as tall as each other these ones are just as wide as each other you get the point so what I did is in Windows you can just right click go edit and then edit and you can crop and I just cropped the different angles so I have the back the front the right and the top of a Ferrari and I just labeled them that. So now we'll come back into Cinema 4D. So the first step to doing this is we gotta activate or access our different viewports. So I'm just gonna uh, middle click my mouse or you can click the top little button here and it brings up our viewports. So to add a picture to each one of these it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna come to the top viewport here I'm going to go Options, and I'm going to go Configure. I believe it's default on um, Display or View or something, but if you just come to Back, there's this little thing that says Image. Just click the three little dots, and since I'm on the top viewport, I'm just going to put the top picture in here. You can set the transparency of this so it's very low, so you can see your object. Um, 75 is fine for this tutorial. Uh, you can click this to bring it on and off. There's offsets so you can move it around, the rotation, the size, you know, the, the whole thing. So I'm just going to quickly go and add um, each picture where it should be. Configure, configure, and then this is front. So, front. Alright, so now we have our three different pictures. So an easy way to make sure before you start modeling you always want to make sure they're all proportionately correct. Even though that you crop them from the same picture sometimes they're not exactly 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 don't know how to speak English. Sometimes they're not exactly the same size so the easiest way that I found is I just grab a cube throw it on the picture and change its size so that it is the proper size of the car. So I quickly did it here. The car is now perfectly inside from mirror to mirror and nose to the end of our cube. So when we look at this one, it's actually, um, this is the width and then the length is here. So these two should actually be swapped around. So what I'm just gonna go do quickly is this is the front. So I'm gonna switch that one to the front and then I'm going to configure, throw the front in that one, and then I'm just going to switch this one to the right side, and I'm just going to bring the right side there. Oh, sorry. I know what I did. I just switched the camera because I didn't fix anything. What I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to rotate our top picture here. I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. It's going to solve. And then I'm just going to rotate our cube 90 degrees. Boom. Um, it moved a little bit from our rotation. And move our cube back. So now our front and our right side are in the proper place. So now what we got to do is we got to make this picture go inside the cube because we don't want to 
move the cube yet actually we want to just set the height of the cube so I'm just gonna set the height of the cube quickly here so it's touching the tires and touching the roof okay now we don't want to move the height of the cube because if we're moving the cube around it's not setting the pictures at the exact same spot it's just moving the cube and you want all the pictures to be the exact for the all same spot so this is perfectly inside our cube perfectly surrounds our Ferrari and it perfectly surrounds our Ferrari here actually we could probably make this one a little bit bigger because it doesn't really touch the nose or the front end so I'm just gonna click on one of these two it doesn't really matter because the ax aspect ratio is locked so I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger till it touches and see how the nose touches before the back I'm just gonna offset the x-axis and then make it a little bit bigger so now our back end of the car touches and our front end of the car touches it touches the tires and touches the roof so these two pictures here are perfectly proportioned with each other now this one is a different story so we're gonna come to configure or shift V is the shortcut it says right here so now we got to make our picture smaller so that it fits inside this cube. So I'm just going to make this a little bit more transparent so this is a little bit easier. And I'm going to shrink down the size to approximately the size of our cube. And then I'm going to offset the Y axis. It needs to be a little bit smaller as we can see. Zoom in a little bit here, make it a little easier. Oh, that's rotation. Uh, it needs to be a little bit smaller. Something like that. So, now, our... So now our we might actually need to uncheck the um, aspect ratio for this one because if you look, it's not perfectly touching the width, but it is the height. So I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck the aspect ratio. And I'm just going to make the uh, X size just a little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to offset it a tiny bit. And like so. Okay, so now all three pictures are perfectly placed, perfectly proportioned, and ready for the modeling to begin. So yeah, guys, th those are the tips that you have to make sure are perfectly correct before you start modeling, or else everything's going to be out of whack, everything's going to be... Um, you're going to be modeling from the right side and then you're going to switch to the front and it's going to be 10 times bigger and completely on the wrong side of the car or something. But yeah, if you guys liked this video, leave a like. And if you like the content that I show on my channel, um, go ahead and, and subscribe and uh, there will definitely be tons more of it where it came from. So yeah, guys, hope you liked the video and I will see you all next time. See you guys.